I think the VAI is a great addition to Divi, but something that I don't like at all is the placement of the Divi AI icon. In this example, I have a text module, and if I hover the text editor, you can clearly see that the Divi AI icon is floating on top of the text. This has caused a fair amount of frustration amongst the Divi community. I'm Victor at DiviMundo.com, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to move the Divi AI icon out of the way from the text. And if you work at Elegant Themes, feel free to steal this from me because I think this is a much better user interface. You can find the code snippets and all resources needed in this blog post on divimundo.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll find the link in the description below the video. So we're going to do two things here. First, we are going to move the Divi AI icon from the Divi Visual Builder, also called the Divi Frontend Builder. And then we are going to do another fix to achieve the same effect in the Divi Backend Builder and the Divi Theme Builder. So to move the Divi AI icon in the Divi Visual Builder, I'll start by copying this little CSS snippet. And I'll head over to my WordPress dashboard and I'll go to Divi and theme customizer and I'll head over to the additional CSS tab and in here I'll paste the CSS code and click publish. So let's head back to the Divi Visual Builder and I'll refresh and now if I edit the same text module and hover the text you can see that both the Divi AI icon and the dynamic content icon is now placed outside of the text input field. And this way your text will never be covered by the Divi AI icon. Now, as I mentioned before, this works in the Divi Frontend Builder. But if I open this page in, for example, the Backend Builder, which is available if you have activated the Classic Editor, or in the Divi Theme Builder, where you create global headers and footers and other templates, you will notice that the AI icon is still up in the right corner together with the dynamic content icon. And this is because the frontend editor listens to the frontend CSS that we added in the theme customizer, while the theme builder and the backend builder listens to the backend CSS that applies to the WordPress admin dashboard. So to apply the same fix to the Divi theme builder and the Divi backend builder, I will head back to the WordPress dashboard and I'll go to plugins and add new plugin. And from here, I will search for plugin called admin CSS MU. Admin CSS MU lets you add custom CSS to style the WordPress admin areas. And that will also apply to the Divi Backend Builder and the Divi Theme Builder. So I'll click install now. And I'll activate the plugin. Now, if I head over to the Appearance tab and Admin CSS MU, I can add CSS to the backend of WordPress. So I'll simply paste the exact same code that I used in the frontend CSS in the Divi Theme Customizer. So I'll hit Command V and I'll click Save CSS. Of course, you can minify it if you want to, but it's not much here to minify. Now, if I head back to the Divi Backend Builder and I'll refresh and I'll edit the same text module again and I will hover it, you can now see that the Divi AI icon and the dynamic content icon is now placed in the bottom right corner below the text input box. And just to make sure that this works in all areas, let's head over to Divi and the Theme Builder. And we can edit the global footer, for example. And if I open a random text module here, you can see that the icons are now placed outside of the text input field. And this, of course, works in blurb modules and call to action modules and all modules that contains this tiny MCE rich text editor. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, Please leave a comment, like and subscribe, that would make me very happy. Until next time, take care.